Hey folks, it's Alex Blancarn with eXp Realty. I'm back at the kitchen table. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about ways to improve your credit score. So let's talk about what is a credit score. So basically, a credit score is a three-digit number that predicts the likelihood that you will pay your bills on time. So why is this important? Well, when an entity is looking to loan you money, whether that's a car loan or a sum of money or even a mortgage, what they'll do is they'll look at your credit score. And a higher credit score may allow you to be eligible for a higher loan amount or a lower interest rate that is more comparable with the market rate. So what is a good credit rating? Well, according to Equifax, a good credit rating is anywhere between 660 and 759, and an excellent credit rating is anything above 760. So what does this mean? Well, if you're in either of these two categories, you're likely to get approved for all loans at the most competitive interest rate. Now, anything below 660, you may not be approved for the loan, or you may have to pay a higher interest rate than the current market rate. However, the credit score isn't the only thing that these lenders will look at. They'll look at things like employment history, uh, the amount of income that you have, your debt to income ratio, and things like your capital or the assets that you currently own. But credit score is a very important aspect when evaluating whether or not you will be eligible for a loan. So what are some fast ways to improve your credit score? Well, the first one is to look for any errors in your credit report. So in Canada, you are eligible to dispute any errors for free. And an example of an error might be something like a missed payment that you actually paid on time or something like credit card fraud, where it says that you paid for something, but you didn't actually pay for it or purchase it on your credit card. Someone else stole your number and purchased it on your behalf. Calling your credit card company and removing these errors can immediately improve your credit score. Number two is getting a late payment removed. So paying your credit card on time is so important because it demonstrates to lenders that you will in fact pay your debts on time. Essentially, you wanna make sure that you pay your credit card when it is due. So for example, let's say you owe $1,000 on your credit card and that bill comes in on December 7th. You wanna make sure that you pay it on, for example, December 6th. So get it out of the way early so then it does not come as a late payment on your credit card. Okay, so that's all well and good, but what happens if you miss a payment? Well. This is a great part about the credit card industry. You can actually call Visa or MasterCard or American Express, whoever you're using as your credit card, and call them and see if they will reverse the late penalty. So never hesitate to call and ask. The worst thing that they can say is no. Number three is the utilization rate. Now, this sounds a bit complicated, but basically this is the ratio between what you typically spend versus the amount of credit that you have on your account. So let's say that you have a $10,000 credit card limit on your Visa card, but you typically spend about $3,000 a month on that Visa card. Therefore, you have a 30% utilization rate. Now, best practice is to stay under or around 35% if possible for your utilization rate. And if you wanna earn the most amount of points, stay at around 10%. That would mean that you have a $10,000 limit and you spend around $1,000 on your credit card monthly. To improve your utilization rate, you can always increase the amount of credit that you have. So you can call your bank quite simply and increase your credit limit on your Visa card. Getting another credit card can also improve your utilization rate as this will further increase the amount of credit that you have. You also want to make sure that you're not overextending with credit. Always treat it like a second debit card is the best practice. So if you have $1,000 in your checking account, spend that $1,000 on your credit card if you'd like and then pay it back, but never overextend. Number four is to use different types of credit. So your credit score might be lower if you only have one type of credit on your account. For example, a credit card. Having a mix of different types of credits can show a lender how you manage different types of loans and credits and further increase your credit score and your reputation with those lenders. 
A mix of credit may include things like a credit card, a car loan, a line of credit, or even a mortgage. However, it's important to make sure that you can pay back that credit. Don't go out and just get a bunch of extra credit that you cannot afford to pay back to improve your credit score. Number five is to limit the amount of credit applications or credit checks. Now it is normal and expected that you'll apply for credit from time to time, but when lenders inquire from a credit bureau about your credit rating, it's considered an official inquiry, and this goes on your credit report. In order to control the number of credit checks, you can limit the amount of times that you apply for credit or when you're shopping for things like a mortgage or a car loan, make sure you shop around and get different rates within a two week period. Therefore, your inquiries will be combined as a single inquiry and be treated as a single inquiry on your official credit report. As a general rule, only apply for credit when you need it. Credit is a fantastic tool, but it is not to be abused. Only apply for credit when you can afford to pay it back. Never overextend. Finally, I wanted to talk about something called hard hits and soft hits on your credit score. Hard hits will affect your credit score, and it includes things like applying for a credit card or some rental or employment applications whereas soft hits do not affect your credit score. This includes things like requesting your own credit score via a credit report or when businesses request credit reports on your behalf. Alrighty folks, that's all for me. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned a bit more about a credit score and how to improve your credit score. I'll put a link below for a free website to check your credit score as well as the Canadian website where I gathered all of this information. So that's all for me. I hope you liked this video. If you wanna drop me a like and a subscribe below, it really helps out the channel. And until next time guys, I'm Alex Blenkarn and this is The Kitchen Table. Take care.